Okay, this is going to be the unboxing video of the Mobius Models um, presents the Grim Reaper. So it's an all plastic assembly kit. It looks like this here on the cover. Nicely uh, uh, detailed cover there. And uh, on the bottom, it uh, basically it tells you that it is um, one eighth scale model and uh, gives you the part number and the date here as to when it was made. Um, looks like uh, 28th of September, 2017. Well, that's kind of cool because today is what? Uh, 29th of September, I believe. So that's, uh, that's pretty wild. Doing this video almost exactly two years from, from now. Yeah, anyway, I was just going on a weird uh, trance there for a minute, but it's all good. Um, this here, as I said, it was a 1-8 scale. Skill level is 3 um, for ages 15 and up. Everything else is pretty much the same there. And here, same thing. And here, of course, the same thing. On the bottom of the kit has a pretty nice detailed picture of what the Grim Reaper is going to look like when we're finished. And uh, just a little write up about it here. And just to pick a couple things out of here. And looks like it says here the model when it's fully finished it's going to stand about nine inches tall. And features an hourglass of course and the sigh. Easy to assemble styrene, and of course, like we all know, the kit does not come with cement or paint. Those are sold separately. So, that's that for the outside of the box. Let's uh, look on the inside and and uh, see what we've got. Um, I think I forgot to mention it, but this model I purchased at used from uh from the model show so it was a an open box model so um whatever's inside is inside hopefully all the parts are here to do it and hopefully they're in good shape and yeah so we'll open up the box and we'll have a look and see what we've got oh yes i did have this open once before because um the instructions i left them out of the box but here's the instructions for this which we will um we'll look at that after so in the box none of it was in the bags or anything like that so i assume um all these parts would have come in a bag um but that i don't know they came could have came just like this uh, and they may not have so in this case they don't have the bags so this here is the looks like the back of the Grim Reaper and um, looks like very well um, very well made not much flashing at all or actually I shouldn't say not much there is no flashing um, on here at all that that's gonna have to be ground off or anything like that other than the parts of the sprue that are attached to the body itself and this here is the Probably the front half of the body so we've got them both here fit them together um, we'll see what the fits like when we get into the installation part of the video itself but um, here looks like we have the um, pieces of grass to go on the model and here we have the rope that goes around his waist this would be the part that dangles down from the knot itself and uh, we have one hand here we have the head here and i believe this would probably be the hood that goes over top of his head um, looking at it here just like in the other ones there i don't see any missing pieces on the sprue so i would say everything is there that we need for that here is the tombstones that go on the model uh, the one on this side here says R.I.P. Jeffrey fell from a belfry. 
and here lies Frank, loved to dance, now he waltzes with ants. Or with the ants. That's kind of cool. Okay, so next up we have, uh, looks like the tree that goes in the background. And all the parts are on the screw for that. And I, yeah, it's... It looks pretty good too. Uh, not much for flashing or anything like that as well. And here we have, I would say, the other half of the tree. So we'll have to put that together. Of course, we'll see what the fit's like. We may have some seam work to do um, once we glue the two halves together just to make it look good. But then again, we may not. We'll see how it fits. Um, I don't see any missing pieces on here and here we have uh, looks like this would be the cape part of the hood that would uh would uh, hang down over his shoulders and here we have um the sigh uh not sure what these pieces over here are but we'll, we'll find out once we get building the model and then on the side here is the front part or the back of his hand and then over here is the palm of his hand so that's the other hand and now we have looks like the parts of the arm and uh, I said this was the hood over here so this almost looks like it should be the hood, but I'm not sure what this would be. Uh, well, it could be one half of the arm, the other half of the arm, maybe. Something like that is probably what it is. Yeah, so it, it's this is all just the, the two arms. That's what that is. Okay, this piece here would be a mount for um, something. I'm not sure at this point in time yet, but uh, it could be one of the tombstones, maybe. And then we have the hourglass. Yeah, so it's clear, so we could probably paint that up somehow. Figure that out. And then finally we have the base. So looking at it from the picture, what I saw, this would be the front part of the base. This here is where... Um, the Grim Reaper himself would stand, and this here uh, is where the tree would go. One of the tombstones here, and then this piece here, I would suspect, would go here, which holds the other tombstone probably up higher, just to give it some contrast. And then uh, the grass in amongst here. So that's the base, and that is it for the model. So. Um, judging by what I see here, it looks like everything is here. I don't see any missing parts on the sprues. I don't think that we would be missing any sprues entirely. So I think we've got a good looking model coming here. Okay, so back now with the instructions for the, um, the Grim Reaper. So open it up. This way here and uh, yeah so on the back it has the story of the Grim Reaper and uh, just a little bit about the um, the model itself uh, the contact number if you have any issues and uh, customer service email for Mobius models and of course a picture of the Grim Reaper himself. So on the front side is uh, important to read this first. So this is just your general um, disclaimer at the start and um, the address, uh, who uh, are the president, vice president, so on and so forth of this here. And um, this Mobius, Mobius Models kit here, looking down here in the bottom, uh, this kit was made in 2017. So it's a, it's a fairly new model and um, yeah, that's about it on there. So opening it up on the inside, it's, so it's just a, an easy, um, 
one page model uh, instructions when you open it up here. So if you're looking at this then we've got step one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine steps to putting this together. And so step one is starting with the head. And then two is more or less the upper body part here. And then four would be the body and the arms. Five is putting the side together and then attaching that to the body. Six is the body itself. Uh, I'll forget that. Well, I guess that must be putting the whole body together then because we've got over in step one where you put the head together to this, I'm thinking. Uh, so then we go to step seven. That is, it looks like that's putting the tombstones together. And then step eight is putting the tree together. And then step nine would be putting the grass and everything else in its place. So looking at this here, um, it's got the numbers uh, of the parts that are in the sprue and um, also highlighted here is the suggested color for each part as well. And uh, yeah, also I see here um, like I said, steps one to nine, right here, steps one to four is is written out uh, for what you have to do. And then over here is steps five to nine, um, which uh, details what you have to do there. So it says here for optional grass fronds carefully. Open up the holes through the bottom of the base, number one, using a sharp knife. Okay, oh, I see. So it's got um, spots for some of the grass, but you can add more grass if you want. But like I said, or no grass, I guess. Must be what it is. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that is the instructions. Not much to it at all. It's just uh, basic black and white. And... Um, yeah, so it's a pretty simple kit, I would think. Um, like I said, the flashing, um, there's no flashing whatsoever on any of the parts from what I can see there. And uh, everything looks nice and clean, detailed that way. Uh, so I guess that would be it for the unboxing video. Uh, next video would be uh, the first part here, steps probably, first video I'd say probably is, just, is gluing together um, steps one, two um three and four getting that together maybe and then moving on to the sigh and the tree but we'll see how it goes because um like i said I'm, uh, we'll see what color it says gold for the hourglass here um but i don't know if i want to do it all gold or if i just want to do the top gold and keep it clear and maybe paint it looking like there's some sand inside it some something like that and uh and then yeah for that and and then start to put it together so it looks like i could probably put most of it together and then, then paint it um after it's all together instead of having to do it in parts might put the get in the tree as well and paint that and while that's drying we can work on the side or something like that too so i might mix it up a little bit but we'll see how it goes so the next uh, step for sure will be um i would say starting off with the head portion at least and then going from there so i'm going to end this part of the um video here right now so um hope uh, everyone enjoyed uh, the unboxing of the grim reaper and um yeah please follow along and see how we do with this here and uh and see what it ends up like and then we'll have ourselves a, a halloween decoration all right that's it for now i'm just rambling on talk to you after bye bye